sometimes when I buy old stuff from old vintage cameras, I find that the grips are just totally gummed up, gummy, and stick to my hand. It's disgusting, it gets all over my hand, and I am on vacation right now, and I have that problem with this old camera that I was trying out, and it's just getting all over my hand when I'm going out and shooting, and I wanna use this thing, but what do you do? I've scoured the internet, let's figure out what we're gonna do. Hey team, Will Cobb here, and I am a film photographer on the Central Coast, and welcome to Vacation Will. I am in my father-in-law's office right now, at, uh, so that is why we're looking at some different decor in here. I'll be in here for the next three videos, trapped inside of here, to make sure I get some videos out of you guys, and some of the things I've ran into on my vacation to help you guys be photographers and film photographers out there. If you are interested in any of that, hit me up on Instagram, YouTube. Definitely like this video, subscribe to the channel, and join me for more videos in the future. I do tons of stuff on film photography, on just photography in general. I've got several developing film videos, film scanning, and I've got my own film holder coming out soon. Stay tuned for all of that. But today, we are gonna be talking about this Elon 7N and how to clean up that gunk on it. I found this guy on Facebook Marketplace and it was uh, in really great shape. Uh, a lot of times these cameras are just sitting in someone's garage or someone's attic being left behind and not being used. And a lot of times they weren't even used that much. They probably had a few rolls through them and not a lot of love. Maybe they had 20 rolls through it. But on cameras like this, the shutter can last thousands of rolls and you know the camera is going to be in great condition if they just kept it around the house and this one was there's like one little scuff on the top the thing was in great condition i was able to throw a battery in there no corrosion in there it was great uh this thing was like 30 bucks and i slapped this 50 millimeter 1.4 i bought for another camera but i snagged this for 150 bucks so this is a really nice lens it's like canon's mid-range 50 millimeter lens for the EF mount, um, which yes, has autofocus. This thing's it's just awesome that it has autofocus. Uh, yeah, this thing is really awesome. One of the models of this camera actually has eye autofocus where, uh, and I think it's the NA or something like that, or NI, you can look inside the viewfinder and it will know where you're focusing to, to a point, like on a general plane, but that's still amazing. And actually that technology like went away for a little while and came back in, I think Canon's most recent camera said they can do it, but it's crazy that it went away for like 20 years and now it's back or 15 years or whatever for a camera like this to have that. Again, this one doesn't have it, but one of the other models of this one has it. This camera is just awesome. It's really ballin'. Again, I got it for 30 bucks. No big deal. With this lens on it, it's still like cheaper than some of these other cameras and, and yes, it doesn't look like um, a vintage camera, but it is. And really it takes really great sharp images. I am shooting a lot of the first rolls on this trip, but what I see in the lens is very sharp and that's because of the EF glass and the autofocus that it has. It's kind of slow to autofocus. It's really, it's really not bad for what it is. It's definitely faster than manually focusing. So. I love this thing with the battery in it. Everything is great. But one of the big issues I am having with it is the rubber is completely shot. The rubber sticks to your hand. It's nasty. It, it gets your hands all black and it's just, I can't, you don't even want to shoot with this thing because of all that. And so I thought I had found the solution after some research that all you need to do is take isopropyl alcohol and clean it off. Simple as that, right? Uh, some people online say you want the 90%, this is the 70%, um, and then this one specifically says rubbing alcohol, but um, uh, you can also use like isopropyl. I thought that that's all you needed, but it takes a little bit more than that, and let me tell you a little bit more about my experience on how to clean this up, and what you can do if you find a camera like this that you really wanna use, but it's all gunked up. What I did was I set it down, I got my isopropyl alcohol, in this case, this is rubbing alcohol. It works the same. And I got some Q-tips, some basic Q-tips. I got a lot of paper towels. 
And I tried some cotton balls out too. They didn't work as good as the Q-tips. So one of the big things is you want to avoid all the electronics. This camera is really just on the grip and there's not a lot of electronics right behind it. The battery is right behind it, but um, it's really just in this little front plate and right here on the grip. So you will take your Q-tip, dip it in the alcohol, and so that it doesn't drip everywhere, you're gonna wipe off the edge, take our Q-tip and come in here and wipe down. Real simple, real light like that. And you're gonna get a lot of thick black crud on it. So you're gonna just keep wiping and wiping and going layer by layer. And your Q-tip is gonna be trash by the end of this. So just grab a big handful of Q-tips and what you'll do, take that paper towel, wipe it off, give it a sticky check, and you're just gonna keep going. Give it some more alcohol, come on in here, and just keep going to town. You're gonna to be trying to avoid the electronics, really just getting on that rubberized surface, and you're gonna to go to town on this thing, layer by layer. Your Q-tip's gonna die, flip it over, use the other side, dip it back in the alcohol, and you're just gonna to try to get every little bit off. And every once in a while, take your paper towel, wipe it off. For the large areas, I actually found that I could take the paper towel with about four layers of the paper towel, so it's a little thicker, do a little dip, take that, and hit the area as well. Again, trying to avoid the electronics. Uh, I actually have film in this right now, so trying to avoid getting on the film too. So really getting it in there, diving in deep, getting around that finger crevice area and on that spot. Literally don't stop doing it because again, I gave up at the very beginning and I didn't think that it was actually coming off. I didn't think it was working. And uh, that's why it was still gummy when I came out on this trip. And I put in the dedication and the time to fix it. I would say give it about like 10 to 15 minutes of doing that just constantly over and over and it will clean up. It will look really nice. It will feel really good. Um, it won't be as grippy as it used to be. It kind of gets it down to a plastic. You know, that's not as good as new, um, but in reality, it's not sticking your fingers. It's still a grip and it's still there. At least it's not getting all over your fingers. So I definitely recommend doing that for as long as you can. Uh, just keep doing it until it comes off. It will come off. Trust me, just keep going. If it's really bad, this one was really bad. I plan on doing this on all the cameras I, I have back home that are gummed up like that. And actually a bonus tip, I don't have it with me, is if you want that grip to be back, I will put a link down below that you can actually cut out a piece of gun grip. Um, a lot of firearm guys will get this grip that is for their handguns and it has a really good adhesive on it. And you can go back and buy some leather too if you, would, if you wanna get really fancy or maybe you have a vintage camera that you wanna spice back up. But the gun grip actually is really grippy and you can lay it over this and draw out the right piece. A tip for that is to do it with paper first, take the paper off or with blue tape even, tape it over, draw it out, take that off and lay it down on the gun grip and cut it out that way and then lay the gun grip on there. I did that with my Mamiya 645 and I love it. it. I don't think it ever had a grip on it and it was just bare plastic and it was always slippery. And when I did that, it was amazing. I might even do that on this camera, but for now, now that that grip is all cleaned up, it looks really great and it feels great too. And now I can continue on my vacation shooting with this guy. So that is a very simple way to clean up these old cameras that you find at thrift stores or wherever and get them working and looking new. So don't be turned off if you see a camera like that, you can get it back up running. And if you watch some of my other videos, I talk about some tools that you can use um, and all sorts of stuff to help you thrift and find good vintage cameras. I'll link those below, I'll link them above. Go check those out, they're awesome. So I'm gonna have a couple more videos coming out in this office where I am going to talk about uh, some new software that I am trying out, this app called Film Lab, and it is a great conversion software that is really simple, and I think you guys will like it. So I'm gonna be trying that out 
on this trip. And I'm also gonna be covering um, a little bit about backing up your film photography on your computer and a little bit about how to do that, how to manage your backups and not lose your data. Even though we're shooting on a physical medium that has physical products, when you scan your film, when you're digitizing and saving that forever, you don't wanna lose those photos. Your film could go away. Backing up stuff is a important thing to do for any photographer. And for any of you guys that wanna jump into the professional space, I know a lot about that from my professional work as a wedding photographer, videographer. So stay tuned for those two videos coming out very soon on the channel. I really appreciate you guys watching and joining me for cleaning up this camera. Stay tuned to those videos, they are coming out. You should subscribe and you will see those notifications if you hit that bell. Like this video, it means a lot to me. And hit me up on Instagram and down below in the comments for any questions that you have for me about this camera, about those topics I was just mentioning, about cleaning cameras, or about just anything you wanna talk about, hit me up. I'm available to answer any of your questions. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good vacation.